refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, up Harry. Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here at the top tier HQ. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Harvey Horn. It's been a while, mate. How are you? Been a while. I'm good, mate. You all right? All good, thank you. So, uh... It's been a while since you last been out. I think it's coming up to a year. It'll be a year since you get when you get in the ring on June seventeenth. But new team around you. How are you feeling, mate? No, I feel great. I feel great. But it has been a while. Twelve months. We were just saying it will be over twelve months when I've actually boxed. So I can't wait to get back in there. I mean, um, statement fight. I mean, yeah, statement fight for me. I think coming up. Well, Johnny's first show was the statement. This one's the momentum. Before we talk about yourself, did you catch any of his last show? Because there was some serious, serious money behind it and a proper production. Well, this is what I mean. I've heard that the production's unbelievable there. So that's what I can't wait to do. I mean, I've always been on big shows. So I I'm, I'm, can't wait to be back under the lights, back dancing, back doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So I can't wait. You had that comeback fight last year after your loss. Um, but what's changed? What's different? What have you been working on with your new team? So I'm not going to give too much about what I'm working with, but uh, any of the, <laughs> yeah, with all the holes, uh, I've got a lot of holes in me game. I mean, um, the, the comeback fight from the loss I had last year uh, wasn't in the right head space. You know, like I kind of just got back in there. I think I needed that time off to kind of rebuild, not just um, not just the boxing, but rebuild with myself because I'm a bad, bad loser. I hated it. I hated it. So I kind of um, had to rebuild myself, rebuild my confidence, rebuild, have it give me ego a check. Then the new team come involved. And now, obviously, you see what Ros doing with some of the other fighters in the gym. Yeah, he's just changing them around. And he likes to say we're creating monsters in there. So with, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm the new breeder monster coming through. Another mini monster that's Not being really. created on there is your brother. Yeah, um, oh, he just made a statement knockout on that Martin Ilson show just a few weeks back. Surely you got to look at that ringside and say, I want a taste of that blood. Mate, I can't wait. I was watching it. I mean, like with Louis, it was a few, year, few years ago. He was very raw, very talented, but raw. All the skills in the book, um, but wasn't knocking bods out. And then it's just the power, the maturity. He looked like a man in there. The, the shot was brilliant as well. It, it was a blink and you miss it type. I mean, I did miss it. But, um, I mean, I went mad when I see what happened afterwards. But, I mean, I'm, the same kind of thing, the same things they're working on, uh, that they've been working on with Louis, that was what originally uh, made attracted to me. I see it in the fight before that. He had a journey. It didn't stop him, but punched the granny out of him. And um, I watched it and I thought, ooh, he looks great. And I'd, I need the same sort of additions. Just how good is Louis? Me personally, he's going to watch this back and I'll probably get slated for it, but he's 100% world title material. I mean, he's got everything. He's got all the hard stuff, all the hard stuff that you, you have to be born with or gifted with. He's got it. He's tall. He's super lanky for the weight. Wax hard, speedy, got a boxing brain, chin on him. Trust me, I know I've clumped him a good few times around the eyes. But... <laughs> but He's, uh, me personally, obviously, I want to be a little bit biased, but he's got world title written all over him in here, in my personal opinion, yeah. Back to yourself. I'm sure you won't mind me saying that you have been quite inactive over the past years. Um, for you, it's 2023 about getting out there, performing regularly and working back to those titles? 100%, 100%. I mean, it's like um been sitting there, um, I think we was talking about earlier with a title. I mean, I've, I've got, I think I've still got my title. I ain't had nothing from it. I've still got it sitting indoors. But I um, haven't, haven't defended it, haven't done anything with it. So I've, I'm dying to get back in. I'm dying to get back in into the title mix straight away. This fight's come up at a perfect time. Enough time to, that we've gelled and we've got like with my new team, gelled with my new team, got everything together. We'll see it all how we get on on the, um, on the 17th and then we go from there. But again, th this year titles has got to be a must. I'm not looking to slow play it this year. And what titles are they? You looking to go down the traditional route, international? The traditional route, all day long. Yeah, traditional. I mean, obviously, you, you can uh, international stuff comes up all the time. But British for me is it's the name in the history book, and I want it so bad. I can't tell you. It's what it's what I want. It's what I've set out to do. Even when I was young, I used to see it. Didn't even know what it was when I was watching the boxing. I think I like that belt, and now it's actually a possibility. So I think um, that that's the goal. That's the goal. 
just sitting there listening to your interview with Ali, uh, you said that a few of those domestic boys you were coming through with have lost their own now, including yourself. So is that the aim, to get one of those big domestic fights where everyone can really get behind? 100%. I think people now are realising that well, now the old's gone, got to get in with each other. Got to get in with each other. We can't all sit back and sit back and relax on that O anymore. We, we can't sit on the laurels. We've got to go in. We've got to start fighting each other. Um, I think we will. I think, um, yeah, it's just that it's the Mayweather effect, ain't it? That old kind of everyone wanted to hold on to it. Everyone was scared to lose it. Everyone wanted too much for like, I mean, at the end of the day, we are flyweights as well. There's not as much dough in the lighter weights. We can't be as picky, can't be as picky. So, um, yeah, I think uh, the domestics will happen. Will happen, definitely. Ideally, work your way up to that Frank Harris winner. 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. That that for me is the, is the goal. That for me is the goal. I think that is, I think that when they fight in May, maybe? They were meant to fight a, about a month ago, but I think yeah. it's uh, May, yeah. Yeah, so then that once that one gets done, I mean, I'll be out in June. Um, uh, be, September would be nice. I mean, like that. I mean, sure, we could, um, sure, I'd be ready for September. So they fancied it. Um, yeah. Shake off the rim rust on June 17th and you'll be ready to beat both of them, you believe? 100%. Dive in, yeah. yeah, dive in. I mean, I wouldn't be doing this if I weren't 100% confident in myself. Both quality fighters. Um, and I actually, watching the interviews, I never actually met either of them watching the interviews. I like them. I think they come across really well, the, the fellas. But it's business. And if I weren't doing, this isn't a game to be doing if you ain't 100% confident in. And I mean, I'm way too pretty to be getting in there thinking if, um, thinking if I was going to get beat. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, <laughs> modest oh, at best, no, modest I'm at joking, best. I'm joking, I'm joking, yeah. Um, well, yeah. yeah. Harvey, thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV. Great way to finish off. And uh, anything else you'd like to mention before we close up? No, uh, no, I'm all good. I think I'm all all right. Thank you to my sponsors as well, though. That always follow me. You know who you are. I will shout you out on Instagram. There's a few of you, but yeah, thank you. Cheers, mate. I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up at it. Uh, it. Must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.